Morning guys, welcome to Paternix Corner. My name's Terry and today is cage cleaning day. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick what my setup is as far as cleaning cage, my routine, and what I use to keep the smell down and the, the type of trays and whatnot. Um, what I use is a metal automotive drip tray. Um, they measure 36 by 24. They're available online at, uh, well they're available at Advanced Auto Parts. Um, or online. If you buy them in the store, they're going to be a little bit more expensive. If you buy them online, you get like a 20 to 25% discount. So I always place the order online, then I drive over to the store and I pick them up. Um, but basically what you do, just uh, everybody knows how to clean trays. Just grab the tray and I use a uh, um, Sterilite storage container to scoop all the poop into. And I just, I just scrape the trays and uh, when I've got them all done, I will take them outside and uh, wash them down if they're fairly clean. If they're not, I will pressure wash them and uh, spray them down with a light bleach solution for disinfectant. Um, for the substrate that I put in the tray, I've tried pretty much everything. I've tried newspaper, I've tried plain nothing, um, I've tried sand. Um, they had some stuff that I was getting over at Tractor Supply. It was supposed to kill the ammonia smell. Um, that worked great, but it was expensive. It was like 10 bucks for 25 pounds of that stuff. So I went to straight pine shavings. You can buy the, the fine pine shavings. Let me show you them real quick. Just real light pine shavings. And I just put a real light layer in the bottom of each tray. And what that does is absorbs any moisture from the poop and once the poop dries out the smell is pretty much gone but and another thing in the summer if the flies are real bad i will just lightly mist the shavings with pine saw um, flies cannot stand pine they, they don't like the smell of it um, it repels them so just a added insurance against the flies i just lightly mist that and it will keep the flies down. I also use this on my floor. Um, after, I, after I'm done for the day, I'll sweep the shop out and I will mop the floor with a uh, pine saw solution. And if there were flies in there, they all head for the door, they want out, they can't stand it. Um, a lot of times I'll have a uh, fly strip. Uh, you've probably seen it hanging in the background on some of my other videos, but the fly strip will get any of those remaining flies that couldn't find the door. Okay, once we're finished cleaning, I will take the dirty trays out back to be hosed down or pressure washed. And the uh, compost bucket will take out back to the compost pile. So let's head out back and I'll show you what I've got set up out there. Okay, we're out back here by the compost pile. Uh, basically what I do is just dump the waste on top of the pile. I may take a pitchfork and, and turn it over a little bit. Um, but what does most of the composting for me is in this pile is a ton of black soldier fly larva. Um, I did not plant any of the soldier fly in here. They just came on their own, uh, but they do a tremendous job of keeping this pile down. Um, right now I could probably take most of this pile out and just compost it right into the garden. So let me go ahead and just dump this real quick. And like I say, every once in a while I'll, I'll just turn it a little bit just to, uh, keep most of the poop underneath the uh, the compost okay so that's pretty much it for my cleaning routine uh, all I got left to do is pressure wash the trays we'll let the uh, black soldier fly larva do their job and we'll do it all again in three or four days thanks for stopping by I hope you enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one thanks a lot guys